incredibly close look. As I said, Jackson's anticipating. Well, I, I, I don't know. Here at home, they did not have a turnover. Here is Gardner to the near side. Gardner, and the pass is complete to Jeremy Gap. Balanced formation, and they've been doing a lot of that to give him a little bit more push in the running game. So they're breaking a the tendency there. They lined up in unbalanced and went with the pass. The sure-handed Gallon. All right, it will be in Iowa City next week for Northwestern against Iowa. Gardner, a big-time throw. He finds Jeremy Gallon. Gallon in the last series here in the opening quarter. Gardner under center. No fire up top. Here's Jeremy Gallon sidestepping. Gallon with a ton of room at the 50, to the 40, to the 30. Can Greg Heben catch up to him? He does. Finally wraps him up. Well, you're going to see this is nothing more than the fire screen I talk about all the time. I love this play because it's low risk, but there's a chance for a big play. you got to credit the offensive line getting out there on the screen play, and if you give the school. Third down now for Michigan. Last two run plays, minus seven. Gardner fires. Gallon comes down with it. Tim Bennett there. Well, that's a good pass. Yeah, I think he controlled it all with the ground. Yes. Yeah, he got yeah. that. Great concentration. I talk all the time about wide receivers. You catch the ball with your eyes. They know they're going to catch it with their hands. Funches. Along with Jackson and Chesson. Devin Gardner over the middle, and the catch is made by Jeremy Gallon. Devin Gardner, we brought up Jeremy Gallon. He said, he's my man. He sure is your man. He's making you look good today. Going behind that left shoulder, makes the grab. Gallon, four catches, a hundred here this afternoon. High formation, play action. Gardner to the end zone. And broken up. Look at the coaches. He's tough. He's physical. And watch him close in on that. Good play by Bennett. That's that's uh, the seven. Third down and three. Devin Gardner stretches it out. Looks to the near side. Has Gallup. A lot of things that just window dressing, and they go at their same basic plays. Out of the shotgun. At the 24, Gardner finds Gallon. Gallon. On his feet, Gallon inside the 10 before he is finally run over. Well, you can't play good defense unless you tackle, and there should be a minimal gain that turned into a sizable gain because of poor tackling. You got to keep your head up. You got to run through the block. You got to wrap your arms. From the seven-yard line now, first and four, the five guys that they need to move this offense and get back to the pro-style game that they want to employ. Here's Gardner. In and out of the hands of Gallon. Oh, catch, and I see green grass. You can see it. Eyes. His eyes came off the football. He was looking to take a big game. Look at it. To a touchdown. You got to look the football in. Greg Heaven. First down now. Gardner to the air once again. Tucson in the backfield. Gardner to Gallon. Touchdown. Touch. Couldn't you? Couldn't you take it another play here? But yeah. watch it. He stands stall. Good protection. He puts the ball on the money. He's wide open. Looks it in. Gets it in the end zone. 40 seconds left. Touchdown. Doesn't get any better than that for Michigan. 91-yard drive, the longest this season for the Michigan Wolverines as they try to bounce back from that. Four over two yards, two touchdowns. Jake Butt in motion to tight end. Play action. Gardner going deep. Has Jeremy Gallon. Touchdown, Michigan run game and then the big strike well all it takes his time play action touchdown and that uh oh they're gonna try something play extra pass and go for the home run he was right but they didn't quite get it on the sideline Tim Bennett got burned Jeremy Jackson in motion 
Kevin Garner quickly fires, and it's exactly what you were talking about. He got beat on the double move by Gallon earlier, but he's not backing down. He's competing. He's saying, you know, I'm going to play my position. Doug and Kurt, they talk every single week. Kevin Gardner throws it downfield to Gallon, who got behind Bennett and nearly a touchdown. I mean, Bennett out there when he's been sticking his nose there competing. I guarantee you, he jumped on Alcott to get beat that big. Second 70-yard catch to... When all of a sudden, when you, when you see him right there, Gallon, and he's also... Awful good receiver. You see that little double move right there? And you saw Bennett. He jumped it. He wants to pick it off, make something happen. Home run. High formation. Play action. Fires a gallon. Sidesteps his way. And now tackled from behind by Bobby Richardson. 302 yards. Well, again, Tim Bennett, he was in good position there, but you got to make the tackle. He missed the tackle. And Second and six. Gardner looks underneath. Gets it to Gallon, and Gallon stumbling forward. His statistics are going out the window here. Gardner. Pump fake. With time, fires to a wide open Jeremy Gallon. Wide open as Michael Hunter finally comes over. They did the same thing. Play action pass. Double move. They didn't do the double move, but that corner thought it was a double move, yep. and he thought, I'm not going to get beat deep. And all of a sudden, you leave a guy like Gallon with Gardner. Steps back. Fires. Has Gallon. Gallon. Jeremy carries that they're running play action with two receivers out there with either a double move by Gallon or the inside receiver going deep and him stopping on the out. Indiana doesn't have an answer for that.